all right session is also getting recorded now who all have joined in let me see so we have somnath we have sushanta joining in hi guys welcome to today's session this is the first session of digital marketing training i hope you guys can hear me out well let me know in the chat window whether you can hear me well or not so we have partha sarthi sushanta Alright, so we have Rajiv joining in. Rajiv, hi Rajiv, hi Somnath, hi Parthasarthi, and hi Sushanta. I believe you guys can hear me out loud and clear. Let me know in the chat window, guys, please. So, can you hear me, guys? Just let me know in the chat window. right i hope you can hear me all right so thank you so much rajiv thank you so much parthasarthi so we'll just get started in another 4 5 minutes waiting for others to join in and then we'll start with a small brief of introduction i'll just brief about myself and would also like each one of you to just brief about yourself too so do you guys want to go ahead and let me know a bit about yourself please so rajiv somnath sushanta parthasarthi if you can just me, let me let each one of us know what exactly uh, your profession is where are you from and what are your uh, expectations from the entire from a digital marketing course so what profession are you into where which city are you from and what is your expectation guys from the digital marketing course so you can type that across in the chat window would really appreciate that all right so we have uh, rajiv rajiv says i'm from bangalore working as a software developer and that's great rajiv and what organization are you working and what are your expectations from a digital marketing digital marketing course in total all right so you're with slk software organization that's great all right so we have parthasarthi parthasarthi says hi i am from kolkata that's great parthasarthi good to hear that and what exactly are you into what what profession and what are your expectations from the digital marketing course guys do jump in sushanta somnath uh, feel free to jump in to in order to introduce yourself all right so anybody else who wants to who would like to actually introduce himself uh, so we have sushanta somnath in case you guys want to introduce yourself but so parthasarthi what exactly what profession are you into so we have rajiv saying i uh, i want to learn each and every concept of digital marketing so that i can do it for a lot of clients now that's great rajiv absolutely we i would definitely take care of that that your expectations are met right anybody else so we have tushar joining in hi tushar we have just started we are just doing a round of interview since this is the very first session so we have partha sarthi rajiv uh, introducing themselves in case you also want to just jump in and type that across uh, you know something about yourself what profession are you into what city are you from and your expectations from the entire digital marketing course all right so uh, you can choose the chat window 
All right, so we have Somnath. Somnath says, uh, uh, Somnath is an advertising professional based out of Mumbai. That's great. And what are your expectations, Somnath, from the overall course? So once you guys are done with the overall introduction, I'll also start with a small brief about myself and then we'll get started with some basics of digital marketing today, followed by uh, your questions and doubts. All right, so Somnath says, I'm looking forward to, uh, okay, so digital solution for clients is what Somnath says, all right. So maybe uh, that's your profession, I believe that's what you're trying to say, all right. So. Tushar says, hey, Tushar, this side, I am from IT background. That's great, Tushar. And what city are you from and what are your expectations from this course? Do let us know. So just waiting for uh, introduction. So Abhishek, you can also jump in. Sushanta, you can also jump in and give in your introduction. I believe Sushanta is not at his desk right now. All right, so Tushar says, I am into global mobility, social media offerings. I'm from Kasabad and I'm looking forward to career progression. All right, so Tushar, I believe you're the same one who has joined our uh, Indrapuram Center, right? If I'm not wrong. All right, great, got you. Okay, great, thanks. So we have more people joining in. So we'll begin after a small round of introduction, guys. It's a great platform to even network across. So we have Abhishek. Uh, Abhishek, if in case you also want to jump in and uh, give in a small brief about yourself in terms of what profession are you in, what city are you from, and what are your expectations from the entire uh, digital marketing course? Yes, Abhishek, that was being done. So uh, feel free to, Abhishek, go ahead and introduce yourself. The answer to your question, which you have written, which you have uh, typed across in private, the answer is yes, we've done that. So you can check that. Uh, all right, so anybody else who wants to jump in and give in his or her introduction or else I'll get started, guys. So just waiting for Abhishek, Sushanta, and we have someone else joining in, just waiting for the name. All right, so we have Abhishek saying, uh, okay, Abhishek is already a member of DMP. He's studying at one of our Delhi location. So we have Tushar from one of our Indrapuram location. He's taking uh, classes. We have Abhishek from the Delhi center. And Abhishek says, I'm pursuing BTEC in CSE branch. So when you say CSE branch, what college are you from, Abhishek? All right, so you're from Dronacharya. All right, guys, so uh, I'll just start with a small brief about myself. My name is Nick Bartla, so it's great to go ahead and start and give in my introduction. My name is Nick Bartla. This session is getting recorded. You will get this uh, recorded session also. I am from digital marketing industry. For the past 17 years, I have been in this industry since 1998. So it's almost 14, 17 years, guys. I started way back in 1998 when uh, Google came into existence and... Uh, I started learning things on my own with respect to internet marketing. I, you know, it all started when I was in college in the year 1998 and started building websites on my own and thereby started learning even search engine optimization. That was the first thing which I started learning, followed by email marketing, Google Analytics and Google AdWords. Google AdWords got introduced in the year 2002, right? So I worked for various uh, uh, digital marketing agencies for almost uh, five, six years. And after that, in the year 2009, I started my own internet marketing agency, which is a Canadian-based digital marketing agency by the name of Yo Creations. So in case you want to know more about my agency, which is a Canadian-based internet marketing agency, I'm uh, the owner and the founder of this agency. I've been running it since 19, uh, sorry, 2009. It's been almost close to six years. And we have been catering to plenty of uh, 
small and medium enterprises in terms of meeting their, uh, you know, internet marketing needs, whether it's search engine optimization, email marketing, Google AdWords, Google Analytics, you name anything, we all do that. All right, so these are some of our web services which we offer. And uh, yeah, so along with that, I'm also taking care of digital marketing Parshala, which uh, got founded in the year of 2012 by me when I was in New York and uh, Toronto. So we have a couple of centers of digital marketing partial and uh, one in New York and another one in uh, Toronto. So over there, the physical classes happens. I have my uh, trainers sitting out there and we have four centers right now in the New Delhi uh, NCR region, which is one in Indrapuram, which we have recently come up with. And also we have come up, we come up recently with Kurgaon location. Plus we have two more centers, uh, which is one in Ghazabad specifically and the other one in New Delhi. So some of you are already from those centers. So I welcome each one of you guys. This is a small brief about myself in case you want to go ahead and add me on LinkedIn. Feel free to do that. I can share across my credentials with each one of you. Right. So before we move ahead, I'm sharing across the URL for my LinkedIn profile and uh, you can also feel free to touch base with me on WhatsApp, that's the best way to get in touch with me and also my email address. So whatever doubts, whatever queries you feel that you haven't been able to uh, speak out during the session, uh, feel free to connect with me over the WhatsApp or on email. So feel free to add me across on LinkedIn, guys. Any doubts, uh, any questions which you have about me, uh, I would request you to go ahead and ask me. All right. So let's get started i'll today i'll be just giving you i will start with giving you an overview of what exactly uh, this entire course is going to be all about and the basics of digital marketing the entire session is uh, going to start i mean it's going to start with the basics and what all can you expect what all topics so it's not just restricted to certain topics whatever i'm going to showcase across to you it's much more than that let's say tomorrow you come across with a specific specific topic that you want to go ahead and uh, know much more details about that. We surely go ahead and talk about that as well. All right. So, All right, so I hope everybody knows about the uh, website and I'll also share across Just give me a moment, need to close this up. All right. So uh, you, this was my agency website, guys. So I am running this. Uh, we have a center in Canada and in Kasebar. And then we have uh, another website, which is of digital marketing parcha, which is dmpathshala.com. All right. You can access some of our recordings. Some of our recorded videos are present across on I'll just share across the link with you guys. So it's uh, www, uh, sorry, it's http forward slash bit.ly and dmp hyphen videos. So this is the place guys, whatever doubts or queries you have, feel free to ask me over the chat. I would be the most happiest person to help you when out. Can I do a search? All right, so you can save this URL guys. Whenever we have a session, I'll uh, keep uploading these videos, the recorded, the recordings of the sessions totally on this particular channel. Now, this is very much free for each and every one. Whosoever is, in, is not part of Digital Marketing Partial will also get the access to this. Sorry, somebody was on unmute. I've just made everybody on mute. All right, so, uh, but the point with, uh, there are various, benefits of joining digital marketing part uh, not just the videos is videos are not only going to help you right there are plenty of videos available on the internet okay starting with what exactly can you expect out of the entire course i would type that across just ping me wherever you have any doubts right so these are some of the objectives which you can meet 
we would be covering majorly these all topics within our within our entire course anything more than this if you come across you feel that yes this is also something which i would like to know about uh, i would be more happy i would be very much happy to assist you with that so we'll start with a digital marketing overview guys what exactly digital marketing is why do we do that each one of you are from uh, you know some or the other profession so either you are a student or from uh, or from or you are a working professional right so everybody over here i can uh, assume or i can definitely i uh, i mean i definitely know that each one of you have a fair understanding of what marketing is now anything or everything which is being promoted across to the end audience right so any product or any service uh, which is being promoted across is uh, comprised under marketing whether it's an offline marketing or marketing uh, what happened to shar so whatever happens there is an echo is that for everybody guys uh, can you hear, hear me out properly or is it just for tushar if in case it's only for tushar tushar you can go ahead and pre log in so it's not for mrithul thank you so much mrithul for uh, letting me know so can you just tushar uh, try to log out and then log in no problem no problem all right so digital marketing overview we're going to start with thanks rajiv thank you abhishek for letting me know then uh, what are the basics within the digital marketing so uh, we use plenty of channels within the internet what all things let me ask you guys a question what are those major things which you uh, use while accessing internet or let me try asking uh, some other basic questions like in which year did each one of you tried to uh, uh access you know in which year did you guys access internet which so for the first time when you access the internet what when was that was it 5 years back or 10 years back or 15 years back let me just take a small uh, small set of question which i'm trying to ask so which year guys do you remember do you remember in which year did you uh, access the internet for the first time 2003 yeah all right 2006 absolutely yeah 2004 right so it's been almost like after 2000 i can uh, believe right 1998 says partha sarthi that's amazing yeah all right so right so when you guys actually got the internet working what was the first thing which really made you uh, i mean which you accessed when you got into the internet world so when you access the internet for the first time which particular thing did you accessed right so it was google it was yahoo mail absolutely anybody else who would like to go ahead and jump in so it was chatting says to shar absolutely so we used to have those yahoo chat messengers you know we used to access the msn i can very well recall when i used this when i used internet it was in 1998 only it was for absolutely for the chatting they were yahoo chats they were yahoo messengers and also i made a email across on msn which was hotmail right so now the overall reason the crux behind asking me these basic questions guys you might feel these are some basic stuff but there is a reason for asking that when there was no internet world there was no consumption of internet every other thing every other penny of the marketers you know advertisers or every other brand used to spend a lot of money on television commercials on uh, you know distributing across pamphlets but which was part of the local marketing or maybe giving advertisements on magazines newspapers so print advertisement television commercials uh, spending across money on events and all these all things still happens but the uh, overall spending pattern of overall advertisers and marketers have changed you would agree to that if they were spending 100 rupees major chunk maybe 90 95 rupees was going into the overall offline world or maybe 100 rupees the entire thing but because of usage of internet the advent the invention of internet and people so much uh, uh you know people are spending so much time over the internet that's the reason why each one of us is being targeted 
with the help of internet channels. We are using internet, like some of you said that uh, Google was the first thing. Now Google is what? It's a search engine. Or some of you did mention it was Yahoo Mail. What is it? It's an email. Or some of you did mention which is a chatting. Now chatting is more or less these days today is done on social media. What else? So search in search engines, email, social media, these are the major things which are comprised under internet marketing. The usage of search engines, the usage of emails, the usage of social media is growing rapidly. Everybody, whether it's a, a person like me who's into, who's an IT professional and otherwise, I mean, there are plenty of, uh, I mean, most of you guys are either into IT or into uh, marketing profession, right? All of us are a prospective customer for some or the other brand, right? Day in and day out, we shop in, a, shop in for something or the other. And these brands keep targeting us, right? Either they target us within the shopping malls, either they target us with the help of television commercials. Similarly, these brands are targeting us on the, social, on the internet medium also, whether it's a search engine or an email or social media. So we will be using these all same platforms which you have spoken about, how to use them effectively and promote across a particular brand or a particular product, right? So uh, we will start first after understanding digital marketing overview, which is the basic part. We'll start with website planning and creation. Now we all need a website, guys. We first of all, all those who have joined in digital marketing partshala, which is most of you, I believe, if you have, uh, then I would be giving you a free website, guys, which is going to be a sort of a personal resume website, which would probably look like this. So I would share that across. Uh, this is my personal website, couple of my clients' websites, uh, sorry, my students' website, just to give you an example. Uh, hey, hi, Shadab, welcome to the session. So we had uh, this one. So you can go through these, some of these videos, guys. Some of these, uh, uh, what do you say, websites, I'm sorry, not videos. So, So why do we need a website? In case you have a website of yours already, okay, this that was not the one, then. All right, so this was the one I believe. Yeah, so just ignore the earlier one, guys. Uh, this is the URL. So this is another website URL, then we have All right, so another website looks like this. So something of this sort, uh, a website like this would be given across to each one of you guys, right? And the idea behind a free website uh, is to actually make you feel the overall, make you work practically on each and every aspect. Till the time you're not gonna work practically on a website in order to promote that across, whether through email marketing, or whether through search engine marketing, whether through search engine optimization, whether through social media marketing, whether it's YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, and whatnot, uh, the overall results won't come in. I mean, you won't get the confidence. So the confidence will come only once you have a website, you would build that up. So this particular student of mine, he's from a different batch. He also created this OVAUT. So he has done great stuff. He has got these things built up and he's working with Infosys right now. He's from Bangalore too, guys. So you can see uh, he has mentioned everything over here in terms of uh, what stuff is he into really, all right? So, and the other website which I've already shown you is with another student of mine who's from a particular B school which is called Jaipuria School of Business. So I give the lectures at various business schools also. And it was last to last uh, week I was, at, I was at IM Kolkata uh, I, I had a lecture there as well. So I believe somebody did. It was, I believe, Tushar who told me that uh, uh, we have our competitor out there at ISP. So just to let you know, Tushar, yeah. So I was at IM Kolkata, right? So yeah, ISP Hyderabad, right? So it was a couple of uh, weeks back. And yeah, this is one of the website, guys, which is made up by another student of mine, another participant. All right, so she is from Jaipur School of Business and she made the entire website and which is a great stuff. So even these guys have done the optimization just to give you a small brief guys. They've done the optimization for their website and they 
have got results and these guys are doing well fairly well in the digital marketing space all right so just ping me across guys for your websites if even in case i'll forget just ping me across on whatsapp i'll help you out with your per personal uh, websites in order to make you work on that all right so like i said after understanding the basics we'll start with website planning and creation there are various sorts of websites till the time you don't have a particular place to sell across your products and services uh, how things will work so similarly till the time so in the offline space you always need a particular place from where you can sell across your products and services similarly in the online space you need a website where you can showcase your products and services just to give an example let's say if in case you are from an it background which is a service industry you need a website where you can showcase what all services do you offer something about your uh, organization and what is the contact what are the contact details what are your usps what is your mission statement and all that right absolutely so this will be attempted absolutely tushar this is a template based website wordpress a wordpress website which is a template based since we are not teaching development right so that's why we want everybody to work on a website in a non technical fashion right excuse me all right so we'll e-commerce website if you're looking at absolutely i can help you with that also right so it's just that uh, i give a personal website in that case uh, i have couple of e-commerce website templates i can give that across as well all right so uh, i can i can give you a e-commerce website template too right you can ping me across i'll give you the options on what what design do you like and so e l g g platform okay what exactly is that tushar not really sure you will find excellent theme so can you share the uh, exact url are you saying that they all are present for free over there uh, you created a tool out of it both so see that's the power of networking guys so we have tushar sharing something really nice which is about so it's an open source platform all right so uh, share across the url each one of us will go ahead and look for that all right so magento open cart absolutely so i would be sharing so elgg.com so parthasarthi what i'll be giving you is going to be a wordpress based theme right so in case you need a new theme then uh, that is going to be separate chargeable so i have uh, three to four uh, wordpress themes which i can offer you all right so el uh, somehow it's not opening to shar not really sure why all right so moving ahead guys maybe i can definitely look into that later tushar uh, no problem so website planning and creation we start first of all by creating a website and planning for a website how do we make sure that our website is in sync with our overall business objective now our overall business objective it goes without saying everyone's business objective is to earn, is to earn profits is to get customer satisfaction 100% ca customer satisfaction maximum uh, marketing share beating our competitors to be standing uh, you know to have an upper edge to have much better usps and all that stuff right okay so we have to shares uh, sharing across the europe so it's another tld all right which is not dot com it's a dot org so this is a website guys where which the shar says you can go ahead and get a template from all right thank you so much to shar i've shared that across i've uh, promoted that across on uh the screen right over here all right guys thank you so much anybody who wants to share across their projects as well i can definitely take that so after learning about website planning and creation we'll start with some of the major activities which are done within the digital marketing space guys starting with search engine marketing overall which comprises of the paid media and also the unpaid media let me uh, help you in understanding what search engine optimization is from a basic point of view and what ppc advertising with google means so these both are part of using search engines so let's say today for for what all purpose let me ask you a question guys for what all purpose do you use a search engine and if i use if i say which search engine you use i believe i am going to get a answer that google is the one which you use the most am i right uh, there would be hardly anyone who would be using 
Bing or a Yahoo or an AOL or a web crawler like Rose or something, right? So it's all Google, whether it's Tushar says Google, Shadab says Google, absolutely, I believe others would also say the same, right? Google is one of the renowned one. Now, let me ask you uh, guys, I would like to have as much interaction as uh, possible. For what all purpose do you use Google or any other search engine on day-to-day -day basis? For what all purpose do you use? So for what all purpose do you actually use a search engine? I'm trying to explain you the overall digital marketing which is done with the help of search engines. So Shadav says to search for some product, absolutely. Abhishek says for buying stuff, absolutely. So I've got two different, two dif uh, same answers. Uh, so Tushar says, I believe at every facet. Uh, uh, that's great, all right. Shadav says for some information, yeah. Uh, Moses says for information, absolutely. I hope I'm pronouncing your name uh, right. In case not, then just apologize me. Uh, so I can say Mr. John. All right. So Mr. John says for information and uh, absolutely. So we use all the uh, search engines on our, in our day-to-day -day life for gaining some kind of information, for uh, fun, for entertainment, for uh, buying in some product. So uh, that's the only reason why search engines are used, right? I mean, there can be 10 different more reasons, but these are the major reasons. So uh, Tushar says, be shopping, information, awareness, fun, knowledge, enhancement. Absolutely. So for an example, a three-year-old kid also these days use a search engine. They might use it for searching for uh, the nursery rhymes or for playing games. Or a, small, a kid who has grown up a bit or maybe a teenager uh, uses that for listening to songs or for, some, for checking out certain... Uh, ways to do his or her assignments or projects which he or she has got from the school similarly for watching movies so fun entertainment information everything and let's say today if i decide that i want to buy iphone 6s which has been recently launched all right so if i decide today today that i want to buy an iphone 6s i would probably go ahead and start looking out for various shops which are nearby but uh, if I'm very lazy and I know that uh, it takes a lot of effort to go outside, I might type in uh, on the search engine and look for that. So when I type in buy iPhone 6, the websites which are there, on, which are going to be on the top, they would have a maximum chance of grasping me, of uh, capturing me as a prospective buyer. Now I am a buyer, right? I am looking for an iPhone 6s. What I can see, none of the websites have that right now. It's only iPhone 6, which is uh, listed out here. So let's say if well, I change from 6S to iPhone 6. Now I am a buyer, right? And all these websites, which you can see over here, which is Apple, which has got its website on the top. Then you have Paytm. Paytm is also selling a lot of products. Then you have My Smart Price, which is again an e-commerce site, which is also selling iPhone 6. Then you have Snapdeal, then you have Apple, so forth and so on, Vodafone, Amazon, Flipkart, eBay, My Smart Price again, Best Buy. They all are selling same stuff, guys, which is iPhone 6, right? Now, everybody wants to be on the top. Why do they want? Apple wants to be on the top. iPhone, Paytm wants to be on the top because Mac higher your overall listing, higher the ranking of your particular website, higher are the chances that you will grab a particular uh, prospective buyer, right? So if I type in buy iPhone 6, I'm looking for iPhone 6, my overall psyche as a human being, it has been seen that uh, every human being is actually uh, clicking on the very first search result, whether it's uh, the one which is labeled in yellow color, which is an ad, or maybe someone who, or maybe, on the second one or the third one. So the second and the third one also have the symbol ad, guys. I'll show, I'll tell you what exactly is the difference between these ad and the uh, search results. So these are search results, guys. Apple.com has a higher probability of capturing me and making and selling me across the product. So when I open Apple.com, I would, I might actually go and see this product, right? And I might like it. And if they have a selling, uh, if they're selling this product, I might go ahead and buy it as well. So the overall chances, the overall probability for this particular website, which is ranking on the top is higher, right? Everybody wants to promote their brand on the, on the top of the search results. 
these guys, whether it's Snapdeal, My Smart Price, Paytm, they all are doing digital marketing, guys, and that's what we are going to learn. In the next uh, week session, we'll start with this, which is called a paid, uh, paid uh, pay-per-click ads, guys, which is a paid form of search engine marketing. This is entire search engine marketing, guys. Whether it's done by My Smart Price, where they're paying to Google, you know, you if you see the ad simple My Smart Price, which is the third search result. Or the second search result, which is the Paytm, the first search result, which is the Apple one. All these three are the paid search results, guys. Why I would say these are paid search results? These guys, these advertisers have given some money to Google. Okay, they are paying. Somnath says can't hear. It's not for everybody. Somnath, maybe everybody can hear. Maybe if you can just re-log in. All right. So, like I said. This is uh, all right. Thanks, Tushar. So the first one, guys, which is, which shows the ad symbol right up here. Okay, Apple is paying to Google. Okay, I have to be a bit louder. All right, just a sec. So I'll change the position of my mic. Thanks, Tushar, for letting me know. I hope it should be perfectly fine now. All right. So. Uh, when I type in iPhone 6, I am the customer, right? I am a, a product seeker. I am a prospective buyer for various websites which are selling the same stuff, which is iPhone 6. Now, all those websites which are selling iPhone 6 would try to capture, would try to get in front of that audience who's looking for an iPhone 6. I am looking for an iPhone 6, and Paytm is selling the same stuff. My smart price is selling the same stuff. Snapdeal is also selling iPhone 6. They all are selling iPhone 6. They all want to be in front of me. And uh, how do they get to know that uh, I, I am looking for iPhone 6? That is with the help of keyword. We as advertisers, we will learn how to build these ads, guys. These ads are created with the help of one of the uh, product which is given across by Google. That's called Google AdWords. This is made up for every advertiser. So I'm logged in but can't hear, says Somnath. All right, so Somnath, can you just re-log in, please? All right, so like I said, uh, when I type in something, I'm a prospective buyer. I'm going to be uh, showcased a lot of stuff with the help of search results. Everybody is trying to sell across the same stuff, but who would end up uh, getting the end customer is to a lot much dependent upon the overall website structure and also the rank. The rank of, of these websites in terms of the search results, higher the rank, higher the probability of getting uh, sales. So the website which is ranking on the top, which is Apple, will have the highest probability, highest uh, conversion rate, you can say, because they have an advantage of being on the top. Website being on the top will always have much better advantage, right? So uh, now I was telling you the search ads, which are these three search ads, which have the ad symbol right up over here. That's called pay-per-click ads, guys, which is made with the help of Google AdWords. So we'll learn entire Google AdWords stuff, all right? So which is a, a all in all a separate topic in totality. I'll make you understand how we as advertisers can make these ads, what are the different techniques of uh, making these ads and rank them higher. Similarly, if you see, there are another text ads which are by Amazon and Flipkart. So you have the ad symbol right up over here. There are plenty of ads which are listed out over here as well. You have Amazon, Flipkart, then Super Smart Deals, Sony Mobile, Red. They all are using Google AdWords and these all are called search text ad guys. Search text ads. So these are, this is just a text ad. That's why it's a text ad. That's why this is just a text. That's why it's called a text ad. And also since these are uh, appearing on the search engine, right? That's the reason why they are called the search ads. All right. So this is uh, a part of search engine marketing, guys. Search engine marketing comprises of these paid ads where Apple is paying across. So Tushar says, are these pull or push based? These all are pull. These all are pull because they are not going ahead and entering into someone's inbox. They're not entering into someone's uh, uh, mobile phone. You know, they are not sending across. Push marketing, examples of push marketing, Tushar, like uh, uh, SMS marketing or uh, non-subscriber based email marketing which is 
more or less are spam emails somebody who has given you permission that they want emailers emails on uh, you know newsletters on time to time basis then also it's not uh, not a push marketing it's a pull so difference in pull or push all right i'll just tell you now push marketing is very much like this you know i am today trying to get hold of buying a uh, trying to get hold of an iphone 6 phone all right and these guys whether it's apple whether it's my smart price or paytm or snapdeal they're not pushing me anything okay they're pulling me they just have their advertisements or their search results in the paid search result or the unpaid this is an unpaid search result they are pulling me they are not getting inside my house they are not getting inside my email box they are not getting inside my sms box they are not getting inside my whatsapp right without taking permission from me that's why it's a pull now example uh, of a push advertising is like a spamming across of an email into someone's email box without taking permission from them pushing across an sms into someone's uh, sms uh, message box without taking permission so email without permission sms without permission calling up someone without taking permission from them is again a push marketing so push market digital marketing is purely uh, push marketing uh, sorry pull marketing guys i hope that was clear rajiv uh, and tushar and everybody the difference between pull and push we have partha sarthi Uh, who says adverts cost may vary country wise absolutely because it's very much dependent uh, partha sarthi on the basis of the competition the cost of adverts partha sarthi is very much dependent on what competitions competitors are also trying to bid all right so tushar says great rajiv says yeah got it shadab says yeah clear i just want to know from each one of you we have we are 12 people including me so at least 11 people if i can just let Get to know from each one of you. Are we clear? Are we all good up till now? All right. Thanks, uh, Hina. And Partha Sarthi says, if I gave some ad from USA, how much cost vary? I'm sorry, I couldn't get your question. If I gave some same ad from USA, gave as in the sense, thanks, Moses. Uh, If I gave some ad from USA, how much cost vary? I, I'm sorry. If you can just elaborate your question more, maybe I'm not able to understand. If I gave same ad, okay. If you give same ad from USA and from India, the cost is going to be same. If you are running an advertisement, let's say if I'm running an advertisement by iPhone six, all right, from India, and that too for the Indian specific location only. And if I'm running the same ad from US. and that too on the same keyword and that too for the same audience which is the indian region only the price is going to be same but partha sarthi to answer your question in a different way if the same keyword by iphone 6 is targeted in scenario 1 only for the indian region and in scenario 2 for the us region the price will differ because uh, everybody is the you know the overall target audience the overall advertisers who are fighting for each and specific each and every location is different So in India, there might be fifty thousand people who are selling iPhone six over the internet, and out of those fifty thousand, only five thousand or just five hundred of them would be using Google AdWords. So your competition, your price is dependent on what these five hundred people are also bidding. There is a bidding process. I'll let you know, guys. And in a scenario two, Partha Sarthi, if you are selling, if you are running an ad for the same keyword by iPhone six, and in America, in United States, let's say there are a hundred thousand people who are selling by iPhone six. I mean iPhone six, and out of hundred thousand, there are thousand people who are sell uh, running adverts for the same for this keyword. Now, what exactly are they bidding for that in the U.S. region is going to be different. So there is no relation between U.S. and uh, India. uh the prices would differ on the basis of what the competitors are so as we move further guys things will get much more clear uh, we will dig deep into the paper pay per click advertisements which are these so i repeat again these are called pay per click ads or these are called the paid search ads now why they are called paid search ads let's say today paytm decides that they have got iphone 6 listed on their website okay and they want to run a particular ad uh which is a text ad for a keyword like buy iphone 6 all right uh, they want their website on the top they can get their website on the top straight away in a fraction of second by paying to google now why how 
Paytm Pay to Google is on the basis of per click guys. Today, if I click on the pay, uh, Paytm uh, this uh, link or the ad, then only a certain amount would be deducted from the Paytm uh, pocket and it would go from Paytm's pocket to the Google search engine. Google is charging. Google is charging to uh, to Paytm for running their advertisement for showcasing their ad. So they are not paying. Paytm is not paying uh, to Google just for placing the ad. They are only paying on the basis of how much clicks happens over here. Let's say iPhone dot iPhone dot Paytm dot com. This URL remains on uh, the search results page, which is this is page, which is this page for this keyword. Let's say every day some uh, there are 10,000 people who are typing in this keyword buy iPhone 6 and out of 10,000 all for all 10,000 times this ad appears okay out of 10,000 times when the ad appears for the 10,000 times this keyword has been typed in only two people go go ahead and click on this yeah. so just out of two people click on the Paytm thing Paytm will pay only for two clicks. Let's say they have decided, they have told Google that they will be paying 100 rupees per click. So they will end up paying only 200 rupees, which is 100 rupees for the first click and another 100 rupees for the second click. So Tushar says, so basically we should unnecessarily uh, click on the ad things as it will deduct the money from the advertiser's kitty. So why would you, uh, so you say, so basically we should unnecessarily click on the ad links. Why would you do that? So if I have clicked just now for okay, we should not okay, 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 great. So we should not necessarily click absolutely right now. When I have clicked on the Paytm link, I have I'm no, I'm teaching you guys, and I'm not here to buy thing right, buy anything. Okay, so this is what's happening. They have end up spending a, a certain amount. So a certain amount might be let's say they are paying hundred hundred rupees or two hundred rupees. They have ended up paying. That hundred bucks from their own kitty, from their own pocket. Hope guys, it makes sense. This is how they pay, and the other one is the unpaid way of getting your website on the top. So you can get your website on the top uh, in a non-paid fashion. So this is a paid fashion where you pay to Google every time till the time your budget is there. Let's say now with the Paytm one, guys. Same example. Ten thousand time uh, a keyword has been typed across. And 10,000 times the Paytm ad has appeared. Out of 10,000 times, right, Partha Sathya, I'll come on to that. And out of those 10,000 times, there are 10 people who have clicked on it. 10 people clicked on it, and 100 rupees was uh, one of the uh, cost of one of the click. So 100 rupees per click into 10 click would make it 1,000 rupees. Now Paytm has told that they just want to go ahead and spend only 1,000 rupees total in a day. After thousand rupees have been deducted, has been used in their budget for a for a daily budget, their ad will not come up again. So let's say the advertisement started running at twelve in the midnight. Okay, at five o'clock or maybe six o'clock morning, which is within six hours, they have exhausted their entire daily budget. After six o'clock in the morning, till twelve o'clock midnight again, their ad will never appear because this is a daily budget thing. A daily budget is being allocated by every advertiser till the time their daily budget has been used. Uh, is not been used, they would be there. The ad would be there. The moment daily budget is exhausted, the ad will start coming. And in place of this, maybe some other website will come. Now, another question, guys, is that why Flipkart is on the right and why Paytm is over there on the top? There are certain reasons for that. There is this called... Uh, a quality score when we will make these ads we will understand overall aspects of why particular advertiser is on the top and why an advertiser too is on the right hand side an advertiser which is on the top on over here right which is apple would be actually benefiting the most right makes sense why do you think can you guys think of let me make you think guys what different Flipkart would have done as compared to Apple because of which Flipkart is not there in not even in the top three, but rather Flipkart is on the fifth position. So one, two, three, fourth and fifth. What bad has Flipkart done and what good has Apple done because of which Flipkart is over here on the fifth position and Apple. So is it the price part? Uh, is Apple paying a higher amount because of which they're on the top 
or flipkart is paying a lesser amount or is it uh, something else any idea which you want to guys go ahead and let me know so quality score says to shar absolutely the content part says to shar absolutely and partha sarathi says i think price part all right rajiv says apple product absolutely great answers anybody else who wants to step in and give in his or her view point guys so ravi rutesh price all right so omnath so possibility price says uh, moses all right ravi says price all right so guys uh all of you have said that right definitely the apple product will always be given a preference for an apple related keyword this is for sure so iphone is belongs to apple that's why apple will always get a preference that is one plus uh, along with the brand which is apple the price part and also the quality score part we would actually take that in detail quality score price and the brand part i mean majorly it's the quality and the price which is which are both taken into consideration and on the basis of which it gets decided by google google decides whether amazon will come on the top or whether flipkart will come on the top or is it the shop monk or the smart my smart price so we'll see all that in detail today i'm just trying to make it a very uh, you know basic level kind of a, what do you say uh session today where i'm just trying to tell you some uh, basic stuff about internet marketing so this is the paid way guys where we give a certain price we decide uh, that for how much price can we offer for every click we give a bidding we do a bidding guys i hope everybody knows about what bidding is what an auction is so if you have seen all those bollywood movies where you know things are being auctioned they say that this is going for an auction it's 100 rupees 101 102 the person who uh, bids in the highest gets the uh, gets that particular uh, thing right so similarly over here even apple will bid on will bid a particular amount let's say they bid 100 rupees per click my smart price will say i am ready to pay 200 rupees per click paytm says i am ready to pay 30 rupees a click now paytm doesn't know what my spry, my smart price or apple has given now this is uh, one of the uh, difference guys uh, with this kind of uh, the old school uh, auction and this auction which is with google with the old school auction which you see in the bollywood movies everybody was aware of how much price our competitor is trying to offer but over here in the app in the uh, google thing nobody knows how much is my competitor ready to pay that is something you can't really uh, get a sense of and uh, this is a common uh, understanding amongst many uh, digital marketers they believe higher the price you pay better your position would be which is not the case it generally happens it generally happens that flipkart is paying you know 200 rupees and still it's on the 25th position and this can have an whereas apple might be paying 30 rupees and still it's on the top you know they are paying a lesser amount by just paying 30 rupees they are on the top and apple is ready to pay seven times more the money which apple is ready to pay and they are over here it's actually on the basis of the quality score and the quality score is very much dependent on three things guys so quality score is calculated for every ad and quality score is dependent upon the landing page quality the ad quality i'll tell you what a landing page is guys the ad quality and also the bid now when i say the bid you know the price which you have ready to pay landing page is the page guys which opens when you click at a particular uh, ad so if i click on the my smart price i click and i land to a particular page now this is the landing page right so the ad uh, after the clicking on the ad this page has opened up this is the landing page okay we will see many things how do we create a landing page what all things should be taken into consideration while creating a particular uh, advertisement so if you won't have a particular great landing page great content on the landing page your quality score will suffer your quality score will be bad and you would end up paying a higher amount per click or even if you're not paying a higher amount per click even by paying a higher amount you will still get a lower position 
So all in all, your effort is not just from the money side. It doesn't mean that if you have great amount of money, you will always be on the top. No, that's not the case. You have to really work hard from the other aspects also. So let me move back to the same thing. So an ad quality, when I say ad quality, this is the ad guys, ad copy. You can see this text, right? Which says buy Apple iPhone 6, online-mysmartprice.com. And then there is a URL, right? Which is called a display URL. I will take in the next session. I'll tell you all that in detail. Then you have a description right up over here. We will create all these. We will understand right from the beginning. So all of you will get your website. I would recommend each one of you to create advertisements for yourself guys. So let's say if you are creating a website which is uh, an e-commerce website or maybe your personal website, you know, a personal resume website, maybe you can uh, uh, promote across for keywords like digital marketing professional based in Kolkata, internet marketing professional based out of Mumbai, digital marketing professional based out of uh, New Delhi NCR. I mean, these kind of keywords, internet marketing professional, such kind of things so that when tomorrow you will promote your website, people should find you and people should start contacting you and you will get these leads, right? So these are some of the basics guys of the paid ads and then comes in a unpaid way of getting your website. Now Snapdeal is right up over here and it doesn't have the ad symbol. Maximum paid ads which can be there on one particular search engine result page. This is one search result page which is number one, then you have number two, number three, number four, number five. This is number one search engine result page, guys. And within one in search engine result page, you have only once, uh, you know, you have only three search results which are paid. And the fourth one is bound to be a unpaid one. You don't see an ad symbol right over here. This is called an organic listing, guys. An organic way or an unpaid way, organic way, unpaid, or a natural search results that's another name i'm just typing that across natural organic unpaid or an seo listing guys all right so hina says what are the sponsored links on the right hand side okay let me take that okay right the ones on the top absolutely so these ones are also paid search pay, paid search ads but these are not paid search text ads hina everybody these are paid shopping ads these are shopping ads. This is only created by an e-commerce site only. So you can see shoplose.com is an e-commerce site. eBay is an e-commerce site. You have Flipkart, you have Amazon and so forth and so on. And these are image ads, right? These are image shopping ads. So you get them created uh, again with the help of Google AdWords. We will see, we will cover that part. And uh, the price which is paid for these sponsored ads, I mean, these are also sponsored and these are also sponsored. And even the ones over here are sponsored because you're paying money, right? The advertisers are paying money. There is a money transaction which is happening between Google and these websites. But with respect to the Snapdeal one, there is no transaction, guys, which is happening. No matter how many people come and click on the Snapdeal website, all right, whether it's 10,000 in a day or 50,000, if there are 50,000 clicks on the Snapdeal one, they're not going to pay even a single rupee for those 50,000 clicks. But if the 50,000 clicks happen for Paytm, they would end up paying for 50,000 clicks. Whatever price they have created, uh, you know, decided on for per click, it would be multiplied with the number of uh, clicks which will happen. All right, so I have a question. Partha Sarthi says, which ads have more traffic, paid or organic? Very great. So organic in uh, reality, organics have much more traffic. It's just because uh, people tend to, uh, you know, they have their psyche that they skip sometimes the paid ones and they straight away go to the unpaid ones. That is maybe one of the things, the psyche is there. Plus uh, the unpaid ones are much more in number. You know, they are just three on the top, right? But these are 10 on the bottom. There are maximum 10 organic one guys, whether it's my smart price over here, you can see my smart price is there with the organic or the unpaid listings also. And my smart price is over here with the paid ads also. Is everybody clear on the paid and the unpaid guys? Let me know any doubts or queries or uh, let me know with a yes or no if you have got that or not.
यस एज पार्थ सारथी यस एज हिना यस एज राजीव यस एज रवि यस एज नंद कुमार और राइट तुषार रुतेश शदब एक्सक्यूज मी आई होप यू गाइज आर ऑल्सो क्लियर मोजेज एक्सक्यूज मी आर यू गाइज क्लियर ऑन द on the search engine marketing the paid and the unpaid now in the unpaid how do we get our website on the top which is the organic way guys now we are not paying to google why is it only snapdeal is there on the top and why is it not that uh, my smart price or ebay or flipkart is on the top why is it that flipkart is on the fourth position fourth organic search result and snapdeal is on the top any reasons for that guys what can you think of <coughs> excuse me anybody who has uh, any idea so partha sarthi says they have okay so shadab says seo absolutely partha says sar partha sarthi says they have seo plugins all right rajiv says better keywords absolutely so rajiv has mentioned one thing guys which is called keywords what are keywords let me explain that to you in internet marketing language this particular text which we write within the google search box this is this was my query right i am a buyer i want an iphone 6 and i want to buy that so i have written my query the query inside my head i have translated that into the google search box once i write in my query in internet marketing language guys it's called a keyword now this keyword you know which is which acts as a uh, overall uh, query you know for me or a keyword for google they are being used within the search ads also uh, within the text ads you know or maybe the landing page also and they are used within the these web pages also so we do a lot of optimization for website guys i will show you how do you go ahead and do the optimization for websites so you can see let's say this is a particular website right guys uh, maybe if you guys will have a similar website like this you know then you would also try to get your website rank higher for keywords like google adwords professional in gasivad or google adwords professional in punjab or google adwords professional in kolkata search engine optimization professional email marketing professional email marketing uh, consultant google adwords consultant for all these kind of keywords you will always want your website to come on the top if your website will come on to the top for such kind of keywords won't it benefit you absolutely it will benefit you right people will start coming up or visiting your website and they will start approaching you right i believe tushar were you trying to write in something uh, couldn't get you couldn't get your last comment all right <clears throat> this is guys the paid form of search marketing and the unpaid of search marketing search engine optimization which is this this is the organic listings we will also cover the entire each and every step of how do we get our website on the top now on the basis of the difference between these two the paid search results which is this where you paying to the google and the unpaid search results which is this which one do you think is uh, much more effective for an advertiser as per you what which one would be much more effective the paid one or the unpaid one so we have tushar shadab ritesh ravi rajiv parth sarthi nand kumar moses and hina all right all right so organic one says parth sarthi or unpaid one right unpaid one says ravi and paid one says rajiv shadab says unpaid uh, and tushar says organic which is unpaid is better all right absolutely because you are not paying any money but let me tell you one thing with search engine optimization guys if you are not paying to google your investment is not going your from the money aspect if your investment is not getting made from the money aspect uh, by paying to google you would be investing by on search engine optimization by hiring either a team which will comprise of a content writer a junior seo or a senior seo i mean these kind of people you know because it takes a team effort guys it takes a team effort to go ahead and get your website on the top this is not an instant thing if snapdeal today wants to decide that they want to 
get their website in the paid listing part they can you know they can just pay to google and straight away they can get their website over here either on this these search ads paid search ads or over here on these paid search ads but if snapdeal or any other website uh, decides that they want to beat snapdeal and want to be there on the top of the organic search results just now that is not possible seo is a very patience level game guys you keep optimizing for let's say two months or three months or maybe six months sometimes depending upon the keyword uh, competition so if there is a, comp a keyword which is targeted by plenty of websites you know many number of websites it will take a lot of time to optimize for buy iphone 6 there are close to 46 crore websites which are trying to rank higher you know if i take just the keyword iphone 6 there are 69 crores so iphone 6 is a much higher competitive keyword and if i type in a keyword buy iphone 6 in delhi then it is going to be a, a less it's just one crore 87 lakh right so higher the competitive keyword uh difficult it is much more time is it's going to take in terms of getting the uh, web search result up all right and also higher the competitive keyword much higher pay per pay per click you know per, for every click you would have to pay because more number of people would be fighting for a higher competitive keyword and they would uh, so more the number of people in the competition more would be the bid similarly if there is a lesser competitive keyword like this which is buy iphone 6 in delhi or let's say if you type in buy iphone 6 in ludhiana this is going to be much lesser it's just 13 lakhs right it's only 13 lakh 20 thousand websites this these are the numbers of website guys which you uh, shows that how many websites are trying to rank themselves on the top so ravi says is seo required knowledge about website a bit absolutely ravi a, 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 sm a smaller amount of knowledge is absolutely needed and this is what i'm going to uh, showcase it to you how what all things do you need to know about in terms of website management so you just need to know certain stuff about how do you manage website how do you change things on the website how do you uh, edit and make changes in the overall content of the website right guys so that's with the paid and so all of you are right that unpaid is a right way but your perspective will change as we move further you might say that they both are good at their end because there is a lot of investment which is needed from the resource point of view lot of human efforts lot of human uh, man hours would be needed in terms of getting your website on the top all right any other questions i really appreciate uh, ravi you have asked me a question anybody else so vinay so thank you so much for joining in vinay vinay tushar sushanta shadab ritesh ravi raji parthasarthi nand kumar moses hina any questions feel free to ask me all right so that's with the search engine uh, marketing part guys which is the paid and the unpaid which we'll cover then comes in what we will understand is how do we create display ads any idea guys what are what are display ads have you ever seen display ads and what are these anybody who wants to just jump in and let me know what are display ads any uh what is your understanding if you know about it great if you don't know still what uh, can you really understand from it Okay, so we have Rajiv says ads that comes on side. All right. So ads in the website, absolutely Vijay, Vinay, you're absolutely right. So let's say today I try to open a specific website, which is, let's say Times of India. All right. So I hope most of you are into reading some sort, some or the other sort of, uh, news right so either you watch times now you watch any other so ads on social media absolutely even they are display ads all right can you see this is 
an advertisement this is an advertisement and it was there on over there for quite some quite some time that was a picture right that's why it's called a display ad then you can see yup tv you know this is again a display ad guys which has come across this is what we're going to learn how do we create these display ads even the video ads you can see a video ad or a display ad these are actually not displayed across on search platforms guys the search engines marketing is something which i have already briefed you we will take all that in depth how we will create paid search ads how we'll create uh, how we'll get our website organically on the top so that is something a different topic altogether so when it says it is one of the branding for new products absolutely these display ads are majorly uh, done for branding across of various pro products and services whether it's a new or whether it's an existing product for both of them uh, so search engine marketing guys is very much different to the display ads now what are display ads display ads are not coming across they don't come across on search engines so display ads are not represented on the search engines right they come display ads are uh, appear they appear on the third party websites now third party websites when i mean let me ask you guys some more questions we have yup tv over here right if i scroll further down okay this is a great example we have samsung galaxy a8 all right so we have samsung galaxy a8 guys what do you think what sort of transaction uh, or what sort of contract or what sort of deal would have happened between times of india and samsung galaxy in order to get this particular uh, banner up across over here on times of india what would have times of uh, india done or what would have samsung galaxy done any idea guys so who would have paid whom and how would they have paid on what sort of uh, mechanism so tushar says affiliate marketing all right so affiliate marketing is something we absolutely uh, it's a great try but it's it is actually not uh, affiliate i'll tell you why so anybody else who wants to jump in so vinay says pay per click all right so who would be paying whom uh, vinay in that scenario and uh, i would request each one of you to do do jump in and give in your suggestions guys so thank you so much to shar for uh, at least trying thank you so much vinay for at least giving in your uh stuff so hina says yup tv paying times of india all right so whether it's yup tv or whether it's samsung whosoever is getting their advertisement so i'll go up so it's samsung or yup tv whosoever uh is trying to get their advertisement right across on times of india they would be paying absolutely so even ravi says that samsung uh, pays times of india when he says client will pay to the site owner absolutely that the owner of the site is times of india and the advertiser is samsung and yup tv they would be paying now is it going to be a monthly thing or is it going to be on the per click thing or what any idea so samsung would be let's say paying 1 lakh rupees per month for depicting their uh, banner right up over here so vinay says per pay per click absolutely yeah so there are two mechanisms guys yeah per click so how many whatever number of clicks this particular ba uh, banner will get whether it's yup tv or with samsung they would go ahead and pay two times of india on the basis of clicks which will happen you are absolutely right samsung will pay two times of india only on the basis of the clicks which will happen on this banner so today if there are 20 people clicking on it so 20 into whatever set of money they have agreed upon on per click they would pay so let's say it's 1000 rupees so 20 into 1000 would be 20000 rupees so tushar says your impressions won't come into picture no it will come into picture so the uh, there is something called impressions guys which i want to tell you which was not part of the search ads within the search ads also the overall paying mechanism was just pay per click you know whatever number of clicks are happening only uh, that number of uh, that amount of money is going to be paid by amazon or quicker or, or apple all right but uh, this is not the case with display ads display ads work on two different mechanisms for paying across money 
one is the ppc which is called pay per click all right so you pay as per how many clicks happens now the next one guys is pay per thousand impressions which is called cost per thousand impressions now what exactly an impression is this is called a cpm model okay pay per click model is also called a cpc which is ppc or cpc guys means the same thing ppc and cpc are same thing i repeat again pay per click or cost per click is not thing there is no difference in that now this is the pay per click model or this uh, cost per click model which we have already know the second model of paying which is only available for the display ads display ads appear on diff third party websites and that sec different model is a cpm model which is called cost per thousand impressions guys all right now what exactly are impressions so if i have opened this website and i have seen yup tv once i have seen the samsung galaxy advertisement once and yup tv advertisement once again i do a refresh all right i have not clicked of them clicked on them a refresh happens and all of a sudden okay a new advertisement has come in <clears throat> so let's say this advertisement comes again which is yup tv i scroll further down the samsung one comes up again which is with lisa hayden and this guy abidyal this ad comes up again when i have seen that ad for the first time and i have not clicked on them that was counted as one impression now this has counted another impression the ad appears it's an impression an impression is just like ad comes and comes in front of the uh, viewer it's just an impression an impression converts into a click on the if the person clicks on that so no matter how many people actually go ahead and click on it that's not at all in question if you're paying as per cost per thousand impressions so samsung says whether people click on my ad or not but we'll be paying you let's say 200 rupees for every thousand impressions thousand people see my ad uh, we will be paying you 200 whether th all the thousand actually go ahead and click on it or or, not, or just one person clicks on that right if one person clicks on the advertisement and thousand people have seen it then still it's 200 rupees because on the basis of impressions how many people see the ad is the only mechan is the second mechanism of paying for uh, display ads we will talk about how to create such kind of banner ads guys within the overall overall google adwords uh, learning we will see how do we create and how do we get them set up on third party websites like times of india or on nokri.com or on flipkart.com or on any other website how do you think this is possible do you think we need to approach so today if i am samsung do you think samsung would have connect, connected with times of india directly or they would have been some mediator guys so samsung today if wants to decide that they want to get their website uh, banner for on various websites so let's see if i open even flipkart.com i hope it's not getting boring guys let me know if it becomes a lot of uh, data to consume or it's getting too much okay thank you ravi thanks so so much for replying in so if i open let's say one of the inner pages let's say i go on to all right thank you so much tushar so if i go into one of the internal pages of flipkart you can see an advertisement over here which is for motorola all right then you have another advertisement for yatra so when is there would be mediators and who would be the mediator let me show you an example of digital marketing patshala website also so with dm patshala now guys this is owned by me which is my website i have got ziva me all right uh website which is uh, promoting its stuff over here and if i let's say do a refresh let's say uh, there would be some more advertiser which also be advertising over here
which is Imami again. If I go into the internal pages, or maybe, so this is our course, which is digital marketing course, guys. You can download the course curriculum from here as well. So you can see email marketing rupees 300. This is one of the advertisement which you can see over here. And if I go on to, let's say, one of the other ad. So when it says there would be mediators, means website maintenance person. All right. Okay. Okay, you can see Simply Learn, who also sells across similar, who's sort of a <laughs> competitor for me, has got its uh, banner right across here. Now, there is one party which is dmpatshala.com. There is another party which is Simply Learn. How do you think this entire process would have worked? Has Simply Learn approached me and given me money directly in terms of getting their, showcasing their advertisement? And how do I benefit out of it? How does Simply Learn? Can you guys think of how would this entire thing work in our uh, overall scenario? So we have Simply Learn, all right? And then we have uh, DMP, right? Which is the website owner. I just want you to think, guys, I would definitely let you know how the overall thing will work. But the display ads, when you have right over here, would simply learn, approach me directly, or they would be a mediator. If yes, so like Vinay says, there is going to be a mediator, which is going to be like someone who's maintaining the website. So the mediator would come in and uh, get this thing done. If yes, then how the entire process would work. So today, if I decide that I want to have my banners of my brand, so let's say if I want DMP uh, banner to be across on various other websites, how this entire process will work? All right, let me tell you, let me not keep you waiting, guys. What has happened in this case, there are two products, okay? One is the AdWords, which I've already told you, which is meant for whom? advertisers okay advertisers are the ones who use adverts and there is another product called guys adsense which is for which is meant for the publishers hear me out properly adverts is one of the product by google which is used by advertisers who are advertisers advertisers are like simply learn who want to promote their brands right and we have AdSense. AdSense are meant for publishers. In this case, the publisher is the DM Partshala website because they are allowing advertisers to come on their website and promote. So I have got content on my website and I am selling some space on my website. A publisher is the one who has got content on his or her website and he or she sells certain space. I have given certain space on my website which has been rented out by Simply Learn. So when it says we need to check website traffic before placing ads, uh, you can do that, but relevancy is the maximum, uh, is the major thing when I, which you actually take, check for. So no matter how much traffic a particular website has, but till the time it's not relevant, it doesn't make sense. And a website which has very uh, low traffic, very low traffic, but very much targeted, very much relevant, I would still. So traffic is never a criteria for checking a website for placing your ad. It's only the relevancy in it. So I was like telling you, I am a publisher. I have rented, I have offered my space, you know, offered space from my website, guys. And I have just made it available to various advertisers. Now, right now, it's simply learn. If I do a refresh, maybe after a refresh, someone else, some other advertisers, advertisement will come up. Why will this happen? Well, what Simply Learn has done and what DM Patshala has done, I'll just let you know. So, okay, again, after refreshing, it's Simply Learn only. Maybe that's just by, by chance thing. Okay, you can see First Cry thing, even First Cry is coming up over here. Now, First Cry or Simply Learn, these guys are advertisers. I hope you guys would agree to that. First Cry and 
simply learn guys are spending money and they are advertisers they are trying to buy you know they are advertisers they are buying in uh space on various websites on various websites and these websites are of these websites are of publishers right now publishers are those who have created their websites and they want to earn money by selling across certain space on their website let's say all of you so we are 11 people right now all of you actually go onto my website and click on some of uh, you know one of the advertisement you can uh, open this particular url guys when you will open this url for all of you it might be some different ad for me it's first cry for all of you it might be different each one of you it would be a different ad which you will see over here what is happening first cry is paying across uh you know investing uh, some money in order to get uh this particular space being bought and i am trying to earn some money by renting out certain space you can relate it very well in the offline space how does uh, a house is being rented out how is a real estate space is being rented out so let's say today i want to rent out a particular tu2 bhk we always have a mediator most of the time so we have a mediator who's a real estate consultant we contact the real estate consultant the real estate consultant is the guy who is in touch with the uh, those people who want to re uh, rent out who want to uh, take a particular real estate on rent and the real estate consultant will also be in touch with the guy who has a property so somebody who wants to rent uh, take property on rent and somebody who wants to rent out their property will also be in touch with real estate consultant right so when i says i'm getting china wholesale import ads you might have actually opened certain kind of websites maybe in the past that's why you're being retargeted so you might have opened china wholesale import kind of websites in the past when that's why i've actually opened simply learn in the past i've opened first cry in the past that's why i'm getting this i'll get to know i'll get you get over to that also that is called remarketing or retargeting now what is happening with adsense guys me as a publisher which is digital marketing part shala i approach google with the help of google adsense and i tell google that please mr google i am trying to offer such and such space on my website which is this much pixel by this much pixel if you can sell this space to all those advertisers who are there in who are known to you all right now what happens just like me just like digital marketing uh, so just like me which is digital marketing part shala there would be 10000 more publishers who would have approached google and sold across and would have offered to google that please come over and sell the sell some of the space you know on my website to some advertisers who are ready to spend in some money i, I am selling my space on my website i am, would be earning money out of it all right now these 10000 publishers just like me also have approached uh, to google and that too with the help of adsense okay adsense is a great platform for publishers to earn money guys by just renting out certain space Google will have its own Google will act as a mediator absolutely Google will in this case will actually form a particular uh, network which is called a Google display network this Google display network will comprise of all those 10000 publishers who have registered with Google with the help of Google AdSense right so just like dmp there would be 10000 more publishers who would have approached google and said that we also want to sell our space we also want to sell space on our website please offer please take this space and offer it to some more people who are in your uh, who are known to you who are advertisers google has created this network of 10000 publisher and they form part of google display network just so just recall this remember this thing guys that's called google display network okay now google display network comprises of 10000 publishers now on the other side of the story the other side of the story which is with the advertisers right so advertisers in this case are first cry 
and simply learn now simply learn and first cry what they would have said that they want to promote their brand they want to promote their brand do a branding they want to uh, sp spread across some message they want to uh, create certain create display banner ads <coughs> excuse me display banner ads and they want to place these banner ads on third party websites which they can't contact directly all right so and they would give some these advertisers will <coughs> excuse me would give some instructions in terms of these are the websites which i would want uh, in terms of getting my ad to be displayed so maybe simply learn might have told <coughs> excuse me google that we want our advertisement to be up on those kind of websites which are related to digital marketing right that's why uh, the search engine optimization course mobile marketing course is coming up over here whenever someone comes onto my website now <coughs> excuse me guys i'll just have a glass of water all right so now advertisers have uh, actually approached google for placing their display ads on various other websites which google is in touch with google is in touch with publishers with the help of adsense and google is in touch with advertisers with the help of ad words things will be much more clear when we do these things in practical now dmp has approached google through adsense and through adsense i have shared with google that i have got such and such space and such and such space on my website on all these pages i want to sell it across whatever money will i'll get i'll tell you that and simply learn would have actually approached google with the help of adwords and they would have said i have got such and such banner and i want to place it on websites which falls under this particular category maybe search engine optimization category or what not and what not right so there are various categories right so once these things matches google will automatically uh, link up both the things right i have a website my website will is uh, offering certain space simply learn need some website which is offering certain space google gets both the parties meet together and google will become a mediator in that case why is google becoming a mediator google is first of all making a lot of effort in getting advertisers connected with them and google is making a lot of effort in terms of publishers getting in connected with them i am as a publisher lending out space on my website and first cry and simply learn as advertisers are buying in space on my website all this is happening because of the help of google with the help of adwords and adsense okay you want to know more about adwords and adsense guys do refer to the videos which i have you can watch some of the more uh, some more videos guys which are part of my network my youtube network right so i would definitely uh, suggest you to go ahead and do that so what, now let's say when i do a search so what happens let's say now all 12 of our 12 of you comes on to my website and clicks on let's say on the first cry ad okay or maybe vinay actually over there when say when vinay says that i am getting to see the china import ad if uh, vinay would click on the advertisement what will happen this first cry people if they are ready to spend 200 rupees per click or maybe 100 rupees per click let's say 100 rupees will take will be taken out from their pocket because someone has clicked on their ad if it's a paper paper click uh, mechanism right if they're paying as per ppc uh paying method so they would click the end customer the uh, reader of the website you know the visitor on the website would click on this let's say i go ahead and click on it what will happen the money would actually start flowing from first cry pocket it will go on to uh, google okay google will charge 100 rupees and out of 100 rupees dmp because digital marketing patshala website <clears throat> platform is used in this case google will pass on 40 rupees out of those 100 rupees this is actually uh, 60 40 ratio now google doesn't disclose that but uh, somehow through experience we have come to know that google charges 60% 
and 40% is paid to the publisher. So 40% is what the publisher gets whose website is being taken, right? So 40% to the publisher and 60% to Mr. Google who acts as a mediator. I hope everybody is clear on the AdWords and AdSense uh, differentiation guys and how the overall display ad mechanism works. Let me know with a yes or no in case any doubts feel free to ask me. So Vinay, Tushar, Sushanta, Shadab, Ritesh, Ravi, Rajiv, Parthasarthi, Nand Kumar, Moses, Hina. Let me know guys whether you have understood the AdWords and AdSense part. All right, so we're just waiting for your answers, guys. All right, so Hina says yes. Ravi says clear. Vinay says clear. Tushar says yes. Basics are pretty much clear. Great. So yes, the first uh, session is all about basics, guys. Till the time basics are not cleared, we can't really move ahead. Nand Kumar says yes. Rajiv says, what if I want my ad to be displayed on particular sites? Absolutely, that can also be done. Rajiv, if today I want my ad only to appear on Flipkart or only on Nokri, that is very much possible. We'll learn that. So if today I decide, if first cry decides that my ad has to be there only on three different websites, I can do that. Only on 30 different websites, first cry can do that. This is very much possible. What sort of ads to be there? How is the overall banner is going to be look like? Uh, the banner will look like the overall look and feel. You don't need to be a designer, guys, in order to create these banner ads. This is another thing, guys. I'll help you in understanding that. All right, so that's a basic about the display ads, search ads, AdWords, AdSense. Then comes in, guys, and also that uh, a lot of uh, brief basic about the search engine uh, marketing also, the paid ads and the unpaid. So when it says without Google support, we can't place the ads. Uh, see, without Go Google has the biggest display network, Vinay. So you can place it, but that's like just a most... Uh, traditional way of doing things. It's just like you approach publishers directly. If you are an advertiser, you would approach publishers directly, talk to them, uh, talk about the price which they would offer and it's going to be like uh, a very time consuming affair, right? And it's an old school method. So a lot of negotiations will happen. You can do that, but uh, it's a time consuming method. You can do that. But uh, many people prefer because there are various advantages of uh, going through Google dis uh, Google route. I know you would might be thinking of uh, uh, saving across on those 60% money, right? You can save on the 60% money, but uh, there are some disadvantages also. So we have news portal called Mangalore Tips. All right, that's great. Is that we have, in that we have given space. Yeah, so you can do that. Absolutely, like I said, but that's uh, an old school way of doing things. Uh, you can actually when they go ahead and approach Google, which is with the help of AdSense and ask other advertisers to come and approach you. That is one way. Otherwise, it's the old school way is this. All right. Now the next thing guys comes in is Google Analytics. Anybody who's aware of Google Analytics, let me share with you what exactly Google Analytics is. So we'll talk in depth about Google Analytics also. All right, so yeah, shut up, tell me please. So, I'm just opening. So this, there is another product guys, which we would really learn into digital marketing. That is called Google Analytics. Pretty great tool guys, in order to, so you're recording, absolutely I'm recording it, absolutely. So when it says, is it, is it the way to track the visitors from location, etc.? Absolutely right, Vinay. Anybody else who's aware about Google Analytics? Uh, Hina, Moses, Nand Kumar, Parthasarthi, Rajiv, Ravi, Rutesh, Shadab, Sushanta, Tushar, Vinay. Right, guys, so just uh, 10 more minutes and then we'll be done. So in case you're planning to uh, just step out, all right. So Google Analytics is a great tool, guys, in order to track each and every visitor, you know, for tracking visits of your visitors, absolutely. So if you, I want to showcase it to you, how much traffic am I receiving on monthly basis on my website, I can make you see that. I'll, I'll make you understand by getting it implemented. So I'll start right from the beginning when we'll 
cover this up how do you integrate your website with google analytics and what all things do you see so let me show it for my website which is digital marketing part shala all right so if i scroll further down just a sec so you can see on an average it's 123 people who come onto my website so it started with 94 150 uh, on august 9th it was 160 and so forth and so on there was a huge peak on september 10th wow i'm not really aware of that 818 people visited my website right so i can really track that 534 on 11th of september then 12th of september which is today it's still getting recorded 146 so that's a great number guys and i can get to know much more details let's say even if i want to check how many people are there on my website right now i do a real time so there is hardly anyone on my website right now so there were a few people on my website a while back let's say if i open so this is your website mangalore tips all right that's great great website so it's in different language i think it's kannad all right so if i open dmpartshala.com maybe each one of you can also open let me show you so if you guys will open even your uh, visit will get tracked guys so i go into google analytics and it does show me that there is one person who's on my website which is from a desktop visit if you guys can also open my website i'll show you your overall place will also get recorded so this shows that there is one person right now on my website and the location from which this particular visitor which is me only is there on the website so we have two people right now so one is from mumbai i believe that's uh, uh, Moses or somebody else or maybe Nand Kumar and then we have all right that's Hina who's from Mumbai so we have one from Mumbai one from New Delhi another one from Hyderabad so we have someone from Hyderabad we have two from Noida which includes me also and I believe that that's the other one is going to be Tushar I believe right so you can see this entire things get uh, visible guys and it's a very effective tool in case i want to know more about how am i getting visitors on my website if i want to know about the past data i can go and check into the audience part so we'll talk about all that in detail guys so i can check in the audience part uh, which is with the geographic location i want to check from where all people have come onto my website in the past one month see i can check that maximum number of people have come in from india that's why it's much more uh, in dark blue and then we have from all different part of the world people visiting my website i scroll further down it does tell me for india it has been 3543 if i want to know from the city perspective i can go ahead and check from the city perspective too so from new delhi it's the highest i know the bounce rate is too high right yeah Tushar. yeah yes it is it is right from delhi it is very high yeah for gurgaon it's very it's it's on the lesser side yeah so i need to, absolutely it has to be worked across it is actually happening for the landing pages which we have created so far and we are running the paid campaigns so it's uh yeah so for noida it's somewhere close to uh 359 kasiba 217 mumbai so maximum visits from new delhi so we'll check all that we'll i'll tell you i can also see where is the maximum traffic coming on from guys whether it's from the what sort of digital marketing is really resulting into uh, traffic onto my website whether it's email marketing whether it's paid search so you can see there are 1600 people who have visited my website directly uh, and 1500 visits from social media websites and 1434 visits from various other referral sites when I say referral sites, there can be other third party sites who are giving me a link. Somebody who goes onto those websites and click on those links will come onto my website. So can you plug in third party tools, <clears throat> says Tushar, to perform analytics? So, so when you exactly mean plug in third party, what sort of third party tools would you uh, say? And also keyword analysis. 
So you say LSO, can we plug in third party tools to perform analytics? Uh, I couldn't get you. So what third party tools are you looking at? So there are various ways through which you can integrate it with other websites. Or social mention. See, social mention is a different tool altogether. Uh, social mention, I don't see, I haven't seen it has ever been integrated. It is purely for uh, social media optimization, social media monitoring. and But other things can be integrated. You can create dashboards and all that. So I haven't uh, linked various, uh, what do you say, third party tools, to be honest, but there is a possibility for sure, Tushar. But social mention, I have to check, I am being honest. So th there are free APIs, absolutely, which can do. So these are some of the keywords which have really resulted into uh, traffic onto my websites, right? And so forth and so on. My AdWords stuff gets visible over here. So I'll take all that in detail, guys. Then comes in, so we'll also talk about, so that was search engine marketing, Google advertisement, Google analytics. Now underneath social media marketing guys, we'll talk uh, uh, in detail about Facebook marketing. So how do we create a Facebook business page? How do we create Facebook ads? How do we optimize them? So you know, uh, this is something which I don't think I need to stress a lot on. I don't need to open a Facebook account and show you that there are advertisements on the right. So there are plenty of ways through which you get your fa get Facebook ads. Then you can promote stuff with the help of other social media profiles like YouTube, Pinterest, Twitter, right? This is all what we're going to cover. Along with then, we will also talk about email marketing, guys. Now, what exactly we understand by email marketing? All of you would definitely be, uh, whenever you sign up to a particular website or day-to-day -day basis or on weekly basis, you would have been getting a lot of emailers, right? Emailers. So how would double click? So, okay, Google double click, absolutely, I can take that. I know Prohit is taking that. Sure, I will take that. So this is not part of our uh, major curriculum, but I can surely take that to start. Once we are done with these things, because double click is a step above that, right? So. Uh, once you understand the PPC, then only the double click makes sense. So when it says we can send updates regarding update offers and all that, right? That's with email marketing, right? So Tushar, uh, the answer to your question is yes, we will surely take that. And also whatever uh, any specific, uh, so guys, this is the major uh, course curriculum. Once we are done with this entire course curriculum, any more any more uh, specific topics you come across which you feel that uh, you want to know about this you want to know about that i am always i always welcome those i always wel uh, welcome those topics in case you let me know that you want to uh, talk about you want me to talk about such and such topic i'll surely take that right without anything i mean without any extra fees charges and all that all right just kidding around so email marketing there are plenty of tools guys which are used in order to promote uh, your products and services with the help of emails like when did mention that we do email marketing with the objective of sending across updates certain offers if there is a new product which is being launched or some new stuff which is being uh, showcased across on your website you send across uh, newsletters you send across uh, promotional mailers and what all tactics needs to be taken care how do you design a how do you design an email campaign without being a website design uh, web designer and on what all days you should send it at what all times you should send an email campaign how do you device uh, a particular email campaign list so let's say today if you have example of a book my show absolutely so groupon book my show snap deal flip card every other website these days today's are spending a lot of money on email marketing as well along with ppc google analytics search engine optimization and all that and the other thing being lead generation guys so everybody does a lot of lead generation uh, in for their businesses so we'll talk about how landing pages are being created so i'll i'll share some of the tools which i use so landing pages uh, creation tools are going to be there i have told you what are landing pages the the page which opens after clicking on a specific ad right so landing pages creation how do you collect leads out of them i'll show you all all of that so this is this overall uh this particular uh, 
session today was all about basics i hope it was valuable guys you might have learned something new today if yes i would uh, really love that yes you have learned something in case not so just stick around thank you tushar so stick around i'll surely help you learn much more stuff as we move further thank you so much uh, vinay thank you so much nand kumar thank you so much ravi i'll just share across guys a link for the feedback uh tmp feedback if you can just help me out with a small favor so before you log out guys uh, i would request just couple of minutes to be spent across so i've shared with you the feedback link once you will click on the feedback link uh, you would get to see this particular small form a feedback form if you can just mention across uh, your details along with how would you like to rate this particular session and any other comments uh, which you would like to mention across once done please mention uh, on the chat window when i do a search when i do enter a query you know the thank you so much when i highly appreciate that Thank you so much, Tushar. Thank you so much, Rajiv. Highly appreciate, guys. Thank you so much, Hina. Highly appreciate for your wonderful words. And we'll definitely connect next session, guys. Same time on Sunday, which is eight thirty to ten thirty, next uh, Sunday. All right. And I'm sharing across the URL where you will find the recorded uh, recording of today's session. So I am going to create a separate channel. so let me show you where exactly you would see that so when you will open this url you will go on to the channels or the playlist sorry the playlist part so underneath the playlist i will create a new playlist which is going to be sunday batch starting from today which is uh, september 12th all right so i'll mention sunday batch september 12th 2015 onwards our uh, timing is something actually which is uh, more uh i would say uh, this is the uh, convenient or major lot i did actually speak to everybody since uh, you know i have got so many uh, individuals like you only who have who are taking sessions from me in the other centers also so everybody wants to be part of it so just just uh, try if you can walk around the shar really really uh, appreciate if you can do that all right but don't worry you will have much more uh what do you say uh many more opportunities will come and you will have a lot of other batches going on at different timings all right guys so i hope i have conveyed my part and you are done with the feedback so sushanta if in case you can also help with the feedback please Rutesh, uh, Ravi, Rajiv, Ravi has all believe done that. Partha Sarthi, Moses, uh, Hina has done that, right? So guys, you can get to see the recording. Please help me with the feedback, please, and you'll get to see each one of you would get to see the recording uh, within the playlist part. All right, so I'll create a new playlist, which is going to be Sunday batch, September third, twelfth onwards. All right.
all right i would take a leave guys thank you so much for joining in it was wonderful having each one of you so i won't keep you waiting it's 10:23 i would uh, uh be pleased if you guys can actually log in next sunday as well whatever doubts or queries you have feel free to uh, punch in across your queries on whatsapp i would share my details once again right so this is my number guys and so sorry it's plus 91 so it's 9871549500 all right that's my number thank you so much guys have a great night uh we'll meet next sunday bye now